I claim that it's really helpful to have a relationship between determinants and geometric things like areas, volumes, etc. Let's see how that understanding illuminates things that we have learned previously about the cross product. Remember, back when we did the cross product, we showed that u cross v is orthogonal to both u and v. Let's look at this from a determinant's perspective, from a different point of view. Here is a proof. I'm going to take the dot product of u with u cross v. And now, now I can uh, interpret this as a scalar triple product, as a determinant of the matrix with columns u and u and v. And now I'm going to interpret this in terms of a volume of a parallel pipette spanned by those three vectors. How much three-dimensional volume is spanned by u and u and v? Well, that's flat. There's none more flat. It's just a 2D parallelogram. It has no three-dimensional volume, none. So that means that u dotted with u cross v is zero, same as with v. That means that u cross v is orthogonal to both u and v. And more generally, this presages the result that the determinant of any matrix with repeated rows or repeated columns is zero. Okay, here's another claim. Let's see. Um, I claim that the parallelogram in R3, spanned by two 3D vectors, V and W, has area equal to the length of the cross product. Let's do a proof of that. I'm going to take those two vectors, V and W, look at the parallelogram spanned by them, and define U to be the cross product normalized to a unit vector. So I take that V cross W, I divide by the length of that, assuming it's non-zero, that gives, as we know now, an orthogonal vector, and in this case, an orthogonal unit vector to that parallelogram. Together, these three span a parallelopiped. The scalar triple product gives the volume of this. That is the area of the base parallelogram times the height, but that height is one. Why? Because u is a unit vector. Now let's write out what that scalar triple product is. That's u dotted with v cross w, but u is v cross w divided by the length of v cross w. When I do that dot product, what do I get in the numerator? I get v cross w dot v cross w. That is the length of v cross w squared. Dividing out by the length of v cross w gives me the length of v cross w to the first power. Now run that chain backwards, and you get that that length is equal to the area of that base parallelogram times the height, but the height is equal to 1. Boom, that's it. That's what we were trying to prove. And we got that through a mixture of geometric and algebraic understanding.